Good day, guys, and welcome to my hurricane forecast. Today, I'm going to be talking about tropical disturbance one in verse 94 L. Now, before I begin this forecast, I would like for you guys to like, subscribe, and turn on all post notifications. It helps a lot, so you guys could get notified as I upload. Now, today I'm going to be talking about tropical disturbance one. Tropical disturbance one currently has a 50% chance of formation within the next five days, and within the next 48 hour period, it has a 40% chance of development. So, with the 50% chance of development, we could potentially see a tropical depression form within the next five days. And that's a medium percent chance of formation. It's not low, but right now it's medium. And I do expect the odds to continue to increase for us to see a tropical depression forming within the next five days. So, we're going to probably see this forming within the next five days or within the next 48 hours as chances are on the increase in the next 48 hours too. Because if you could remember in the previous forecast that I released, I mentioned that this could potentially get up to a tropical storm status. Now, this is just a tropical wave right now. But when it enters the more favorable weather conditions, and when I mean favorable weather conditions, I mean moist areas and no areas with less wind shear, and also areas with warmer water temperatures, then it would more or less influence development. And I mean by influence, I mean it would allow it to intensify. Hence why the National Hurricane Center has a 50% chance of development. And if you could also remember, this was the same tropical disturbance that had previously had a low 10% chance of development. And now chances are on the rise for development. So we are potentially going to see a tropical depression form before this mix and falls somewhere around Bermuda not Bermuda, and um, Barbados, or before it gets towards the Lesser Antilles, Windward and Leeward Islands. So, the National Hurricane Center advisor quotes that an elong elongated area of low pressure located several hundred miles east of the Windward Islands continues to produce disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Environmental conditions are expected to be favorable to support gradual some gradual development over the next few days, and this system could become a tropical depression while it moves more moves west northwestward at about 10 to 15 miles per hour this disturbance is forecast to reach portions of the lesser antilles late monday and then move into the near virgin islands and puerto rico on tuesday then the system moved near near hispaniola around the middle of next week interest in those areas should monitor the progress of this system as it could bring locally heavy rainfalls and gusts to wind portions of that area now the National Hurricane Center specifically quotes that gradual development over the next few days and is possible. And they also said that this system could become a tropical depression while it moves towards the west northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And so even the National Hurricane Center is saying that this tropical disturbance current that is currently a tropical wave could potentially intensify into a tropical depression or at least maybe a low-end tropical storm. So, with a tropical depression, we would look in, be looking at locally heavy rainfalls and gusty winds. And with a tropical storm, things are not that different except for in wind speed similarity. So, the wind speed for a tropical depression would be up to 38 miles per hour as we enter from 39, 40, 50, 60. And when we get up to 70 miles per hour, then we would potentially see a Category 1 hurricane. But ma the majority of the models do not show a Category 1 hurricane. But still, they show tropical storm. So there is a slight possibility that this could become a tropical storm also within the next five-day period. So attention if you live in Florida. If you live in Hispaniola, if you wouldn't live in the northern windward and leeward islands, if you live in Puerto Rico, if you live in Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and also the Bahamas. So, talking about Florida, Florida would potentially get affected by this. We're talking long term out, and also the Bahamas. So, when we talk about that, the Windward and Leeward Islands could potentially start to get affected by this, at least by 
tomorrow, late tomorrow evening, because this is a fast-moving tropical wave, 10 to 50 miles per hour. It's just zipping along, and it has the potential to develop. So, guys, I would like for you guys to pay close attention to this as it could develop. So, guys, I'm going to show you guys the intent of the guidance on this. Now, guys, if you notice, when we get about 12 hours out, 12 to 24 hours out, if you notice from then, the intensity starts to happen. And you notice that how we also see a spike in the intensity in the wind speeds. Here is 35 knots, which is uh, about close to a tropical storm. But as we get close to farther out into the future, the models are just keeping to have this intensify and the NNIC the D ship have this getting to category one hurricane status and I'm not going to say that's not likely but still there's a possibility so also when we get about 60 hours out I do expect 60 to 40 hours out this may potentially be a tropical depression or a tropical storm at this point as the majority of the models show so we're going to look at the spaghetti plots on this tropical disturbance now now guys this is the spaghetti plots on invest 94l and if you notice there are in agreement that this could potentially move straight along the northern and windward and leeward islands and move right exactly over puerto rico then move just north of Haiti and the Dominican Republic and then it moves up towards Florida. Now it gets into a very close approach with Florida when we get farther out in the future because there is the potential for this to move up towards Florida. Now I'm going to be running the forecast models on this to see how strong the models get and I showed the HWFI model will run on this because it went very bullish on this. So I'm going to show that specific model because I noticed that it got a lot of views. Because the reason why it got lots of views because it got people attention. So the re I'm not saying that this is going to become a very major hurricane, but I'm saying the further we go, these tropical disturbances, and also the models are starting to go into show major hurricanes start to develop because the hurricane a hurricane season is not a hurricane season literally without a tropical depression making it towards a major hurricane status so now we're going to run the forecast models on this to see what they have to see on this now guys this is a forecast model and by the way this is the h wharf p so this is on invest 94l by the way so if you notice when we get about 15 hours out 18 hours out when we get 21 hours out, by the time we get 21 hours out, this is at 1,007 millibar. At this point, it might be a tropical depression or a tropical storm as the HWRF model shows. So, if you notice, you got lots of rain bands and a very steady amount of precipitation with it. And you can see that there is a closed low at this point. So, we're going to continue to see what happens with this now. It looks like it starts to weaken, then it starts to get stronger. Now, when we get 42 hours out, which is almost the exact time that the models show this making landfall, if you notice, the, na the, na the National Hurricane Center has this at a 40% chance of development. And of course, chances are going to continue to increase. Now, this is on the HWRF model. You notice that the pressure is down to 1,002 millibar, which is a high end, almost a high end tropical storm. And also, you notice that it has some very solid rain bands with it. And this time it's making landfall. And it's pretty strong at this point. So, we're going to continue now. We continue to see inten increase in intensity because the pressure goes down to 1,999 millibar. So we're close to seeing a category one hurricane at this point. So if you notice, the rain bands are pretty decent on this at this point. And also the circulation is pretty strong. If you notice, the center of circulation is in this general area and it's down to nine. 199 millibars so we're going to continue to go out 
Now, after long fall, it starts to weaken. Pressure goes back up to 1,000 millibar and still has a very solid center of circulation because it just finished making long fall. Now, the pressure continues, it continues to get disorganized as we go farther out. There, we go, there is Puerto Rico, by the way, on the edge of the screen, and here is it at this point. And we're going to continue to see what happens with this. So... I hate to say this, but it moves. It it's good that it moves just south of Haiti, or not Haiti. I mean Puerto Rico, but the not the thing that is not good about it is because it's strengthening pressure down to nine hundred ninety five millibar, and we're seeing potentially a Category One hurricane at this point. So if you notice. The, the rain bands are solid with this and I, I'm very impressed to say that this, the vortex system might be very, very strong with it because if the, if the wrong center of circulation is strong, then we're likely going to see a strong vorticity. So we're going to continue to go out into the future to see what happens. Now it continues to intensify pressure down to 992 millibars and then the pressure gets all the way down to 987 millibar, which is strong. So, if you notice the rain bands are around this are pretty solid. And also, the, the, just the structure, the storm gets my attention at this point. And this is just 75 hours out. So, maybe this is a category 1 hurricane at this point. So, as we continue to go further out, it makes it interacts with that general area which is Haiti. It interacts right there, Haiti. Makes them fall on Haiti. Maybe a tropical storm as a tropical storm. Or maybe just as a low end category one hurricane. So we're going to continue to go out into the future to see what happens. Now it gets pretty disorganized after moving over Haiti with the lots of mountainous um terrain that will it will have to deal with so guys i would like for you to please pay attention to this storm because it might potentially be heading florida florida maybe florida um haiti the puerto rico the the leeward and leeward islands pay clean attention to this and i will also say if you live in jamaica please just keep updated so guys thank you for watching thank you for 118 subscribers extremely appreciate it guys we're soon to 120 subscribers i really like it the channel is growing pretty fast from my perspective and continue to i'm going to continue to do this it makes me happy and thank you for watching guys